I am standing. Hi, I'm Nancy from Healthy Thoughts Wellness Center. Thank you for watching our channel. This is a grounding technique that is really great for children, and I'm going to teach it to you right now. <clears throat> I am standing. The first one is acting like a tree. So you encourage the children to take a couple deep breaths like this. And then you tell them to stand like a tree. Imagine that your feet have roots and the roots are going strong into the ground. Imagine your arms going up and your fingers are all the leaves and they're reaching up towards the brightness of the sun. Open for your new day. You repeat to yourself, I am standing. I am standing. Now throughout your day, someone may throw a wrench in your day. They may call you a name, give you a dirty look. You may trip and feel embarrassed, or maybe you don't do as well on the spelling test as you thought. In this way, your tree, that is you standing still, may wave a little bit, but it's okay because you are still okay. You are still grounded. Even though your tree may wave back and forth, you feel that your feet are so connected. Their roots are way into the ground. And you may have been swayed, but you have not fallen down. And you are okay. All right. So that's a great one to talk about, right? That we have good and bad things that happen at school and somebody can kind of throw you off your square, but you're not down, right? Because your roots are still in the ground. The next one I am standing that I do with children is really great if they need a break at school. And you can even put this on if they have a special um, accommodations at school that the child will be able to leave the classroom go to another room and practice this mantra, I am standing. They can say it three times and they do it after that they turn into a toy wooden like nutcracker soldier. So we ask them to take a deep breath in. And on the second breath, I say, when all the breath is out, ding, imagine that you have just turned to wood. Here we go. And then I encourage them to close their eyes and to think about how does it feel? Like you were in this classroom, something upset you, something went awry, and now you're in this room by yourself or yourself and the teacher, right? And now you're just standing still and that that is your grounding technique. In the stillness, you find that your body can settle down. In the stillness, you find calm, you find peace. Now, later with children, they'll also find some clarity, but at first you just want to teach them the, the mindfulness grounding techniques just to get them to calm down. And what does that feel like? And do you feel a little bit better now that you are not in that busy classroom, that you give yourself time, just three minutes here to stand like a wooden soldier, right? And they learn that their body can calm down, right? So getting them out of that environment and getting them into a calm environment, um, to me, it is not useful, it's not enough. You also need to teach your children grounding techniques and I am standing is one of them. So when they're standing there like a soldier, sometimes they might even want to um, stand against the wall and I let them stand against the wall if they want to feel that. And then I say, just in your mind, I want you to say the mantra three times, I am standing, I am standing, I am standing, right? And that represents I'm standing, that I'm still okay and I'm still grounded.
So if you try I am standing with your children, or if you're a teacher and you even try it in your classroom, please tell me below. I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments of simple techniques like this that I give you to use with children. And as usual, if you haven't liked and subscribed, I would encourage you to do so. Hit that bell reminder so that you don't miss any new videos when they come out. Thanks for watching.